Hi lovely people, welcome to Zop Lady, welcome to my channel once again. And always, as I always say, I'm always beaming with smile to have a special guest seated beside me. And I'm sure you're also wondering, you want to know who is he, yeah? So I wouldn't want to belabor the point so much. I leave the opportunity for him to tell us who are you, if I may ask. <laughs> yeah, so I'm Johannes, Johannes Krug. Yeah. Um, I'm a filmmaker and uh, live in Ludwigsburg and uh, yeah i have a strong connection to ghana mm -hmm. uh, i did a volunteering year yeah. after high mm -hmm. school in ghana for yeah. one year yeah. and um yeah that's where i met my wife Ooh, that's she, why he's married to a guy <laughs> yeah. did you hear that <laughs> yeah so that's why i've always been coming back and forth okay go and visit yeah. there and then yeah. now she yeah. lives with me and our Ooh. daughter in Ludwigsburg. but oh. uh yeah we always go to Ghana when we have the chance yeah okay so when we can afford the ticket <laughs> and now it's becoming very expensive yeah, and now we have to pay for the small one too <laughs> thousand, she... thousand euro per ticket and Whoa. because she's older than two she pays like an adult exactly. so three thousand euro just for the ticket yeah I, I can understand <laughs> oh, did you hear that <laughs> should I change my interview into ever right oh, now no, no, Hello. No. <laughs> it's not that good Whoa. I even did some every course here too again but um, wow I've, he just spoke I've away. Stopped. My God. Okay. Let me bring my thought back together. So whilst he was introducing himself, he said what took him to Ghana was volunteer work. And I want to find out from you what made you decide to volunteer. And first of all, why did you choose Ghana apart from all the other countries that you could have volunteered your service? Why Ghana? Yeah, I mean, of course, volunteering, you can do it in your own country too. Mm -hmm. That's uh, what many people also do. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to see a bit more of the world uh, and broaden my horizon, mm -hmm. let's say like that. Yeah. Um, and of course, that time, some of those narratives that I was socialized with, like uh, this white saviorism topic that uh, we, I have in my films too. Uh, back in the days, of course, I was also thinking, oh, it would be nice to go to Africa and help or use one year of my life to do something good but uh, of course I quickly realized that there are some problematic um, things with this narrative mm -hmm. or yeah with this mm -hmm. behavior mm -hmm. so uh, they didn't play such a big role again later on but um, yeah those were some of the reasons and then I was like uh, my sister already who is uh, two years older two and a half years older she already went with the same volunteering mm -hmm. program to Mexico mm -hmm and i don't speak spanish so i was looking for something english speaking uh english speaking country um in africa and then um, i applied to several projects and uh, got picked for the country project in ghana oh okay so you didn't really choose ghana but the no, institution yeah. just gave you ghana i chose i applied for two projects i think in botswana and one in ghana, ghana. okay and ghana picked you. yeah maybe destiny was bringing you closer home <laughs> okay so now i just want to find out from you again yeah that what brought you into filmmaking why why filmmaking not any other profession what what, what okay you? back in the days when i was like uh, an adolescent i was doing uh, also youtube videos <laughs> no but like uh, yeah. dunking videos okay. Basket, basketball but, videos. okay yeah okay so that's how it started that's it, okay. like you know, uh, basketball, not so many people can dunk, mm -hmm. which is like when mm -hmm. you take the ball mm -hmm. and throw it from mm -hmm. up, you have to jump very high. And um, yeah, I sort of did that. So I was like, okay, let me film myself doing that when I was young. And then I made some videos, uh, cut it together. And mm -hmm. so I had an interest in media. So I was like, uh, I bought a camera yeah. when I was 17 or something, like a small camera. Like I got half of the money for my birthday and the other rest from my savings. and then. Uh, yeah, that, that's how I got into the te more technical aspect of it, like being interested in the technical mm -hmm. side. And then I applied to uh, Stuttgart Media University and they picked me and I said, okay, when I come back from Ghana, then I'll start the, uh, my okay. course there, Bachelor yeah. in Audiovisual Media. Okay. Uh, but then when I started the, the course and I did a few projects there where I was like a uh, lighting technician or like some assistant or something like that, I realized, okay, uh, film is great, uh, photography too is great, I like media, uh, but I don't just want to be a technical assistant for something like that. I, my main goal is to, to work with people and to tell stories and to, yeah, to make the content and not just 
how the content is being uh, shown or like the technicalities, but rather the, yeah. So telling the content, well, creating content, telling a story. So it is true that, that I got to meet him. So he spoke about media, yeah, and then telling the story. So um, the movie we watched, can you tell us the topic again? The first one. The first one. Yeah, so which is very controversial, and I would like to find out from you what was your motivation mm -hmm. for making such a movie? Yeah. And so, what do you hope to achieve? Yeah. What do you hope to, yeah, the outcome? How do you want a change? Like, let me just leave the rest for you <laughs> to, to, to belabor the points. Yeah. yeah, so the, it's a documentary, it's called Making of King. And it's a documentary about the protagonist, uh, King Bansa. Um, uh, it's a, uh, a Ghanaian who lives in Germany and in German media he's portrayed to be the king of Ghana. Um, whilst he's not the king of Ghana, but he has a, an honorary title called Ngoifia in Ewe and that is uh, development chief in English. Um, of course, you could also translate it with development king, mm -hmm. but then you have to know that the system uh, is a bit different uh, than you might think when you hear the word king. So, uh, basically, the chief and system, I, mean, I don't have to tell you because you know about yeah. it, <laughs> but for maybe some of the yeah. people who don't know about it, but there's, uh, beside the normal government, mm -hmm. there's this older traditional system, like how we also have royals mm -hmm. in Europe, mm -hmm. uh, this royal system, sort of the chief and system. But uh, of course, they, they have their own titles and names that they call themselves. But uh, yeah, so his uh, position is uh, a development chief. That means he got uh, an honorary title from the real chiefs, basically, of his hometown. And um, yeah, there is a discrepancy between how the media puts it and what the reality in the, on the ground is. And because I made my volunteering year over there, uh, where he comes from, uh, around Hokwe, in the Volta region in Ghana. Um, and I followed his story and his media presence for uh, a lot of years. Like, since I heard of him first, I've always, like, sometimes check on what's going on with him and how is he presenting or mis mispresenting, sort of, <laughs> representing Ghana in the German media. And I've always been having talks with Ghanaian friends and family about it. And uh, yeah, I just felt it's, uh, we have, I sort of wanted to talk about it and make people see that mm -hmm. there's a, a yes. But not just in order to sort of make him look bad, but more, it's not just about him having that title and making it look bigger than it is, mm -hmm. but also about the narrative uh, he and the media are presenting about Africa when they are, putting him in the media and um, yeah I mean the last scene of the film you remember yeah. that's a very tough scene yeah. uh, uh, but that's basically the that's the strongest reason why I think uh, people should reflect on this specific case but then overall about totally how Africa is seen in, in, in European or Western uh, media um, and that scene he is uh, performing a song called African Party and he's performing it on some in some village uh, around here in Baden-Württemberg and uh, some some festival and then the the local um, uh, women dance behind him are his background dancers and then they do black facing which is a very racist uh, uh, practice and then they even have one person dressing up uh, as, a, as a monkey to dance behind him and he he seems to be okay with that uh, it's at least that they had a black monkey's face. And yeah. yeah. So I uh, so that scene is very specific about what I find problematic with the whole yeah. story. Yeah. yeah. You got your thoughts back. Thank you. That is duty. Yeah. Uh, so now, uh, yeah. What do you ask more questions. <laughs> yeah. So um, what I realized during the cinema, some people were walking out. Um, how did you feel when that was happening? I think uh, some people walked out after the first yeah. film, but I think not during the first film. No, no, but not uh, I think maybe it's just because of their timing mm -hmm. issues. Maybe they wanted to go and see the music okay. at a music yeah. concert, okay. and they were like, "Okay." Or maybe it was just too tough for them. Yeah. Uh, um, or, or they thought, "Okay, if this was the first film, how would the second film be? <laughs> yeah. uh, and yeah. If it's so controversial, <laughs> and uh, yeah. making them also yeah. uh, face this." 
controversial questions yeah. and reflect yeah. themselves yeah. in in the watching the film. Yeah, yeah maybe they. But I don't. I think maybe it's just a timing issue that they thought they are going to watch a, a short film, mm -hmm. which was advertised that Black Savior is going to show. Mm -hmm. Then we realized we have more time, so we are going to show the documentary making of King first. Mm -hmm. And the making of King documentary is 45 minutes. So uh, in addition to the talk, mm -hmm. it was only already one hour. Whereas maybe they only had scheduled for 40 minutes okay. of that time. Yeah, okay. I, I so. Yeah. So not always you have yeah. to put so much meaning into people. Because, yeah. They didn't look so angry. Yeah. If it would have been like, let's say I would have shown this in front of an audience mm. where then uh, there are maybe uh, 10 black audience members and 60 white mm. audience members and all 10 black audience members leave the audience uh, in the middle of the film. Yeah. Then I would take the I would take it differently. I would I, I would really. Uh, question okay. myself and yeah. the film itself. okay so the, another question is just, of course you are into the media why have you chosen the style of filming uh, the type of stories you tell yeah why do you tell to that particular angle no I think every story it, uh, needs their own uh, way of how it's done and especially with this one mm -hmm. uh, making of King mm -hmm. It's not a it's not a beautiful film. Like, <laughs> I, I wouldn't have done it that way. It's yeah. just it just that's just how it happened. Yeah. And it, it's sort of that yeah, that's how it happened. It's not like I plan to make a film and I'm thinking of how can I make a nice interview shot and how can I beautifully capture this moment. No, this was a this is a completely different film than how other films yeah. are like, like. Uh, than how I I would plan yeah. something ahead and then execute it. Yeah. But that, that one was more like, a, as I said, it's like a work in progress. Yeah, it's yeah. like, I filmed myself doing a film. Mm. So it's not uh, such a beautiful film to watch, but it's a very hard... A thought, thought provoking it's, movie. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. more about the content, not yeah. about how, how yeah. well you see the pictures yeah. or how you, you yeah. listen to the yeah. sound. It's about... Yeah the content that you you listen yeah. to and the questions it raises hopefully yeah. i mean you have to tell me uh, I, you have I, to tell I, me I, your I will, I will, i'll leave that review. to another day how i my review is, is really <laughs> tough i think at the background we had a conversation but i think because of the interview time we have we didn't have that time but of course definitely i've taken your contact and i will definitely have to schedule another interview with you to discuss <laughs> in depth of the project that you do because for me I think they are really thought provoking this is a topic that a lot of people shy away from we run away from it because it stirs us some anger yeah in people and uh, if it's not making us comfortable then there is a need for us to change something something is not right this is how I feel mm. about the whole thing but um, in other not to belabor the point what I want you to leave us with a message like in all the movies you do, just leave a message to the youth and to the world. What message will you give? Because I'm gradually coming to the end of our interview and I want you to end <laughs> with um, and any thoughts you have in mind that you would love to share to anyone. Okay, that's a difficult one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's like, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, what can I say? Be authentic. That's what my message to the world. And that's what I'm trying to do even if sometimes it, it might be controversial or it might be uh, you might yeah yeah you might offend some people mm -hmm. but uh, i think it's not yeah i think it's best to be authentic in what you do mm -hmm. so um yeah that's what i hope people also be authentic take. is the word yeah so <laughs> ask yourself are you authentic in whatever you're doing so on that note, since he said he's, he stayed in Ghana, he's married to a Ghanaian, I'm going to test his ghanaian that is in him, yeah? So I'm going to end the interview as usual with my Ghanaian handshake. So let's see, because I won't teach him, let's see. Do you want the extended do. version or the simple version? <laughs> the simple version, okay. So the extended version here <laughs> is for the hours, yeah? Where I come from and his wife is also from the same region. So that is very long. We wouldn't want to do that. We want to just do the short one. So let's see. <laughs> he brought a new twist to it. <laughs> yeah. oh, my yes. hands are too slippery. Let me yeah. show you the extended one that I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have to slam. Yeah. The weather is so hot, my fingers <laughs> yes, are slippery. I'm sweating. <laughs> so he Thank knows, you for the yeah, nice interview. Yeah, he, he, he actually passed for the Ghanaian uh, handshake. So definitely now I believe that indeed you are really 
um, one part of you is from Ghana. Yeah, I'm thinking of applying to my passport, but I don't know how. You know, now you can have dual passports. Yes, in dual Germany, citizenship. they changed it. So now. because I'm married to a Ghanaian, I want to have the Ghanaian. But you have to, to stay in Ghana for five years. No, that is not if you are married. It, 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 there's uh, some exception to it. Really? Uh, I, I learned so, but okay, it's still to... complicated. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll see. We'll because the thing see. is, I don't want to pay 110 euros for the visa fee every time I go to Ghana. <laughs> The, the visa fee is expensive, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Ghanaian authority heard that the visa fees are expensive, so please reduce it. So on that note, Zop Lady would like to say a big thank you for coming along with me. And as usual, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a family about who Zop Lady and subscribe to the channel. And subscribe to my channel <laughs> and too. Yes. Yeah, I forgot. Can you tell them your social media oh, okay. handles? Okay, yes. Yeah. Uh, you can find all my social media handles on my link tree, which yeah. is link tree. So yeah. link dot e e slash yeah. Hook films, K R U G films. Yeah. Yeah. But I believe you will link yeah. it in the. Film. So definitely, so I'll put it at the description below so that you subscribe to his channel. And you can watch some of my films on. Interesting YouTube. one. There's one I love about the. Um, Divine, Divine, 419. Divine 419. You should watch that. That is my my best. I mean, the best. On that note, see you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>